to my channel so today's video is going to be my makeup tutorial um just my daily one that i would wear just around the house um i'm doing this video because i haven't done it yet as i've seen on my channel um and i thought why not do it because there's nothing else to do as we're in lockdown so i'm gonna get on so I think I'll probably do two different videos. So this will be like a um, like a, a makeup routine that I would wear inside the house and just around. Um, and then in the next video will probably be if I was going into town or going out shopping or something with my friends or family. So it'll be a different video to this one. Um, so I don't really use it. I don't really wear a lot of makeup around the house, but sometimes I do if I feel like I'm bored or film down. I like to put a bit of makeup on, do my hair to make me feel happy, you know? Um, so I'm gonna do that. So before I start my makeup, I like to put my, my headband on just to make sure my hair's out of my face so it's easier to do my makeup. Um, I have a big mirror right in front of me here and then I have my video here so let's get on with the video um, before I get on with the video I hope you're all good I hope you're staying positive we will get through this together if we keep following the rules and hopefully it will be over but yeah stay positive we've got this okay so a lot of people put foundation on first and then um concealer underneath here i don't really do that i put concealer first and then foundation but i think today i'm not going to put foundation on well i don't really put foundation on because i'm just around the house as i said i'm going to be showing you what i would wear around the house so i'm going to show you the the things each thing that i would wear as I put it on before I put it on. So the first thing I would put on my face is a primer, which you can get from uh, Superdrug. I think it was for four pounds. So what I do is I put a bit, if it comes out, there we go, put some there. I like to put it everywhere so it's ready for the makeup to be on. Once that's on, you just smudge it around your face. Now, before I started wearing makeup, I didn't really know about this primer until my stepsister told me, well, used it for me used it on me for my party makeup and yeah so ever since that i've been using it and it does make a difference so you kind of use this for it just um kind of make sure skin clear of any um blemishes so it just makes your skin a bit clearish for your makeup so it's easier after that i am going to be put on some concealer and i don't really have a lot which is revolution which also you can get from super drug you can also get like a, a bigger tube of this as well, which is about that size. And you can get a foundation as well. Um, so what I do is I put it on the eyes like so. As you can see, it's kind of light because I'm running out and 
and then all you do is just get your little blender and just dab it bottom side sometimes when it doesn't blend in I kind of just do that because sometimes it doesn't really blend in well so So you can probably see it still a little. There you go, so that's that side there and then just do the other side. Now you, if the concealer that I've just put on probably won't really do a lot because there's hardly any on my face simply because it's not a lot in the tube okay so that's me doing my concealer probably see my eyes are a bit lighter underneath um so now what i do is i have these two which is um Rimeal london stay mate which is pressed powder can't really see it there you go and then i have a natural bronzer the same make so first i add a bit of a, this with my new brushes which i'm going to use is this one and i just like to put it around the face everywhere like i said it's just my in the house, round the house makeup. Now you'll probably see my face is probably a bit darker now because you can see the brown. And that's what I use this one for to make it a bit lighter. So it's not too dark and not too light. Because nobody likes to be really dark or really light. I don't think anybody does. Okay. And also when you're doing your makeup, you're supposed to blend your neck in as well with it so it doesn't look a bit weird when you have clothes so you probably see your face is dark and then you have your neck that's light so you're supposed to blend your foundation in with your neck with your face as well which i didn't know when i first started it and then obviously i got into more and more and then that's when my sisters told me that you need to blend it in I said, oh, that makes sense. So you could probably see that I'm wearing earrings. Now, you're probably thinking that I don't really wear earrings. You've never seen me wear earrings, but to be honest, if you go from my one of my videos, you'll probably see me wearing earrings. I think it's the one where I talk about, I think it's, gossip chat week one and you could probably see me in a nice dress and then um some dangly earrings that i got for my christmas now as you could probably see i'm probably a bit dark here so i'm just trying to make it a bit lighter as i possibly can because you don't really want to look too dark because if you look too dark, you probably will look a bit weird. Okay, so it's kind of working. Yeah, so I'm going to be wearing earrings quite a lot now because simply because 
I don't really use a lot of wear a lot of earrings because um I just forget really and sometimes when I forget my I don't wear them for so long um my ears one of my ears tend to close up so after a while I had earrings in overnight and then this was recently I took the earring out and this ear was bleeding so I think I repaired it or something or um it had like you know the the worms inside that you get when you have your ear pierced so anyway that is the as you can see you can probably see the color now because it, you can see it so uh, that is those two done the next thing that i like to do is maybe a bit of okay before i start doing okay so that's what i do um so before i put lipstick on i like to put a bit of um lip balm on my lips so they're the nice and smooth before i put the lipstick on so what i'm going to put on today i don't really usually put this on today but is a uh, lip smacker which is coca-cola which is basically lip balm just open it like that And it does really smell like Coca-Cola, I'm not really joking. Okay, so that's all then nice and smooth for when you put your lipstick on. So the next thing that I put on is um, my eyeshadow. Now, I don't really like to put a lot of eyeshadow on because simply because I'm having a hard time kind of blending two colours together like loads of people do. So what I like to do is I like to pick kind of light colours um, when I'm around the house. So this colour here, which I got from Wish before the coronavirus. Um, if you open it up, it has like a little circle thing. It's one of those things that you just roll on and it's really sparkly. So let me just show you. So there you go, you could probably see it a bit, but not too much. But yeah, so that's really nice. That's something that I would wear if I was going to town or something. But because I'm just around the house, I kind of just put a bit of, um, like, let me show you. So this is my box. Well, trolley box, shall I say. Um, yeah, so I like to put a bit of shimmer because it's just around the house and it's, it can easily wash off anyway. Um, it's just these little shimmer things. So you have uh, this one is a cream shimmer. And then this one is a... They're all cream shimmers, but this is like a, a bluey sky blue colour. And then we have like a, a brown shimmery one. So the one I'm going to put one on is the brown one. And all I do is I don't use any of this. Simply because you don't really need to because it, it's because you'll just put a lot on. Simply I just turn my finger in it and then just dub it on my eyelids. Could probably see it a little bit but not very much. Like I said I don't like it to be dark so as long as you can see it a little bit, but not too much. So you can probably see it a bit. Slowly getting there. Now it probably will take a bit of time because it is a light colour and because I'm wearing pressed powder. 
not foundation. Now, pressed powder simply does the exact same thing as foundation. And it's just a um, different way you can do it. So I know some people put foundation and the pressed powder on together, but I think that's just really too much. So you can kind of see it a little bit. Now if you can't really see, if I don't really see it a lot, I tend to put like a, a little light brown sh eyeshadow. So I get um, this Madame Millie eyeshadow, which has four colours. I've had this for quite some time. And the one I tend to use is this one, as you can tell, it's more used than the others. Um, so I'm going to be going for this one, this one here, because it's lighter with the shimmer. So I'm just going to rub my finger in that and just dab it. And hopefully that will make it a bit more. A bit more see-through. Yeah, so there you go, you can kind of see a bit. Like I said, I don't really like to uh, dark around the house because it's just around the house, so there's really no point. So, that's me done my eyeshadow. Next, I like to put on a bit of mascara. Now, there's two main ones that I always go for, which is really nice ones. So, there's this um, Aqua Lashes, which is this blue shiny one. And if you open it up, it's a really good eyelash thing. You can get that from Primark, because so I got that from Primark. And this is also from Primark, which is False Lash Queen. Sorry, I keep doing this because my top keeps falling down. So if I open that, this is my newest one because I needed more. So this one's really good. It kind of makes your eyelashes really bulky. Now the wrong thing that I've been doing is putting the eyelash, the mascara on before I curl it. But I've been watching recent YouTubers and what they do is they curl their eyelashes first and then put the mascara on. And I've never actually tried that, so I think I'm going to do that today. So if I mess them up, you'll know why. So basically you just do that. Now if you don't have an eyelash curler, I got this from... From a set because I ordered some um, actually I got that from Primark so the one I'm going to use today is my old one which is this blue one simply because this one really um, is a lot of volume it makes your eyelashes more longer so does this one but um, I think I want to use this one today so. But if it doesn't really work, I will have to switch over to the new one because I'm running out of this one. Now, you can probably see it a little tiny bit, but it's not really working, so I'm going to have to switch over. Now, this one's 
brand new recently so it will come out straight away onto the eyelash. Now uh, because I'm just going to be around the house, I'm not going to put a lot of mascara on like I normally do because I like it to see to be see-through so you can actually see me wear mascara. So I'm just going to do it very lightly so you can probably tell the difference from that side to that eye because I'm just around the house and there's really no point in putting a lot of, a lot of mascara on if you just got to be around the house. So you can probably see a little tiny bit. So you can probably see I've kind of made it a bit darkish. Like the mascara has kind of went under. So what I do, if mascara goes just on my eyelash or underneath here, I tend to use a bit of the little pressed powder and just dab it and smoothing it around so it's hideable. But if it doesn't work, I tend to use my foundation which is revolution also you can also get all these products from revolution on the revolution app or online because i've actually got an account with it and i've got some face masks with it too so you can probably see it's kind of blending in a little bit but not very much so i am going to use the concealer because that does the job as well and because it's already been under my eyes so there we go simply just smoothing it around no I am running out of concealer very badly so I think I'm gonna have to go on the website myself and buy some I am running out of foundation too this used to be a lot and now I've got literally that. I'll just use a dab of it. Now you see, you will never tell the difference. And then because I've got a bit of it on my eyelash, on my eyeshadow, if we get that, um, where's the shimmer? I think I'll put it in here, yep. So if we get the shimmer, because there's just a little tiny bit, all you have to do is just, just kind of smoothing it around. And then it's gone. So you can still see that I've got some mascara on, which is fabulous. Um... Now, I probably should have done my mascara first before doing the eyeshadow, which I usually do sometimes. But for some reason, today I didn't. So, let's curl this eye. And then let's do... I'm going to try and use this blue one again. Even though it's hard to... Now it's working a little bit. As you can see, you can see it's worked a bit because I've got it on my eye. Which we'll sort after. Now 
Now, I've seen some people, when they do mascara, they don't make a mistake. But when I do it, I do. It's so annoying. There we go, all fixed. Probably see a bit. There we go. Got a bit of foundation. Can solve the problem. Now I'm just going to use the other one to just kind of make it show a bit because you can't really see it very much. So see it a bit, but not very much. Okay, so after I've done my mascara. I put on my lipstick. Now I don't really put lipstick on, so some I just put a bit of gloss because it's you're just in the house. So this one is butter gloss, and it's from NYX. Um, I actually got this from a um. I think I got it from Primark or it was from a gift within amongst other things. Um, so this is actually a peach, peach kind of one, but it's a butter gloss. So what that is, it's just a little glossy one that you wear. So this is the colour, it's kind of like reddish, so... Okay, so there's the gloss. You can't can't really see it because it's a gloss. But but it does make you your lips nice and shiny and smooth. So after I've done that, I put on a bit of highlighter. Now the normal highlighter that I usually wear before I got some more makeup stuff. I usually wore, was the girl's best friend highlighter, which you get from um, <clears throat> Superdrug. And the one that I used the most was this one here, which is so beautiful. So I'll just show you. There, you can probably see there. But I know you, you don't really blend your highlighter like that. because you, Well, you can probably see it now, actually. Now, I've actually got some new highlighters. But before I put the highlighters on, I actually you put some baking powder revolution also which is baking powder i don't know why you put it on but apparently you're supposed to to make it just blend all together nicely or something like that so let's do that shall we And what you do is you just dab it on a brush. If there's a lot on your brush, just flick it about and blow it. And then just dab it around your eye. Now I'm probably going to have to hoover this up in a minute so after you do that you just get the brush again I'm all covered in baking powder now on the floor so that's fantastic
anyway so like i was saying so after you apply this get your brush and you just blend it through You can probably see my face is a bit more lighter and a bit more better than it was before. So after I've done that, you will just uh, do this. Then like i said after we apply this baking powder which is this i apply highlighters now i just showed you the recent one that i do so there's also these ones that i do which is iconic london so you have a shine a glow an iconic an original now I haven't quite got the idea how to blend it in quite good but it is so shiny so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a dot there and it's up there now if it doesn't really blend together very well or I don't blend it very well today I'm gonna go back to my other one until I know how to do these officially. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna use my blender, which is this little dabber, and I'm just gonna dab it around my eyes. Now you can probably see it blending-ish. I'm gonna use this side now and just make sure it blends in very well, like so. I'm kind of just smooth, go around in circles just to make sure it's blended well. You can probably see it a bit, but not very much. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the brush and just blend it. As you can see, I'm swapping round from the dabber to the thing now. I'm going to go back to my other one, simply because it's more better for now. Okay, so usually you use a highlighter brush, which is one of these which is the little square one but somehow mine's kind of went out of shape but i have another one so basically all you do is you just do this on each side and you just do it against your collarbone Now people will like to put it against here, under the chin, here and the nose, which I tend to do now because it's the kind of natural thing to do in this kind of world now. And if nobody does that, then that's just weird. So as you can see, my nose is shiny underneath and here. Now, you can probably see the sides are not really blended in very well. So I'm just going to... There you go, you can probably see this side is not really blended. So, like I said, when you put highlighter, some people don't blend it. Because when you add highlighter, you actually want to blending your highlighter with your makeup 
because if you don't blend it in it's not gonna very look very natural if you go outside or when you're around people so what I do is I use a blender and I kind of just just do that you probably think it's taking it away but if you can see you can actually see the highlighted area okay you can probably see the highlight on the dabber too which is not a bad thing so don't panic then after once i've done all that i use this setting spray which is a primer and a setting spray and it's called hashtag insta fix and grow go and you get you can get it from rimmel london and all you do Make that a bit, you don't want to look too obvious. You just spray it around your face and you cool it. And there you have today's makeup. So, hope you enjoyed this little video. Um, I actually had fun making this video to be honest simply because I planned it well I didn't really plan it I just did what I would usually wear as going out and yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed it remember to su subscribe comment down below give it a thumbs up and remember to stay positive bye